Piper, what's wrong? Oh, yeah. You want Jane? Oh, Jane left her water. You want Jane and Jackson? I'm sorry, baby. Hey guys, so today is an interesting day, so I thought I'd vlog it. Um, Piper's upset because we just dropped Jane and Jackson off at school for the first time. Um, they have, like, they're testing, like map testing. I'm sure it's called different things, different places. But they had that today. So they're only going to be there for two hours. That's it, Piper. Um, that was very interesting, <laughs> dropping them off because, um... They were supposed to be there at 8.30, it's 8.45, and I literally just dropped them off, but um, they, I don't think they were prepared for this. First of all, only half the school is there right now because they're doing half in the morning, half, at, uh, half in the afternoon so that they can social distance a little more. But with no buses or anything like that, there was a super long line, and there's always a really long line on the first day of school anyways because like the kindergartners don't really know where they're going or what they're doing and all that, so. Um, luckily, Jane just grabbed Jackson's hand. Jackson doesn't know where his classroom is or anything, so hopefully she just grabbed his hand and took him in. I didn't even get to say, like, he doesn't know where he's going, so I don't know. Hi, Pediatrics. This is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I'm here for Piper Hunt's appointment. <laughs> Go ahead and come up to room number one. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, she said they're ready. Oh, you have no shoes on. Oops. Get your shoes on. Okay, so we dropped them off. We barely made it here. Like I said, we were supposed to drop them off at 8.30. And then Piper has her four-year-old well check at 8.50. And I was like, ah, perfect. Stop talking like a baby. Sit right here and put your shoes on. They're waiting for us inside. Um, I was like, oh, perfect, because it's right down the road, we'll be on time, but then that line was so long that I was worried we wouldn't make it here, but we did, and they're ready, already ready for us inside. So yeah, this is just Piper's four-year well check. I probably won't film in there. I think she might have to get some shots, and oh, wrong feet, wrong feet. Um, but yeah, that was interesting, dropping them off. I'm excited to see what they, how they, say their day went there they were so excited to go into that school today Jackson was like upset that it wasn't gonna be a full day of school so poor guy he's ready he's ready for school all right we'll check in with you guys in just a minute okay Lou how'd that go good it went good mm -hmm. are you sure did you cry two times today one time when when what Jackson and Jackson and me. Yeah. One time when I got shot. <laughs> you got a shot. got a shot. How many shots did you get? Three. Three. Are you okay now? Mm -hmm. And how do you have three lollies? For uh -oh. one for Jake. <laughs> and one for Jackson and one for me. Here. Hold them on. Hold tight. So, Piper got a good report. Everything looks good. She had to get three shots. Um, she did really good. She did the thing where like she doesn't cry during the shot, but she cried a little bit after they were done. Um, Jane is terrible at getting shots, and I have to bring her back to get her flu shot. Oh my goodness, she does not do good with shots at all. So I was really happy when Piper was good she didn't cry for very long at all um but what I was gonna say was earlier when we first dropped them off I just felt bad for Piper I don't know if she understood that we were dropping them off she's been without them before but I think it was like the reality of them actually going into the school today and then it just being her I was actually glad her and I had something to do today so that it wasn't like we were just going home but She's just gonna have to get used to it. I don't obviously know what the rest of the school year is gonna look like. So they could be home doing virtual school the whole time. And then she goes to kindergarten next year with them. Or there might be a period of time towards the end of the school year or maybe even soon that um, they go in every day and it'll just be me and her. So anyways, I don't know what to do because it's only 9.45 and I have to pick the kids up at 
the school is literally right down the road from us and we have 45 minutes. I do know that that line is gonna be super long again, so I'm thinking if I just go there now and get in the line, that'll be best. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, and then her and I can just like watch videos or do something. So I think that's the plan. And then we're gonna have, we're gonna treat the kids. Guys, this was a mistake. I, I have no service. I oh, wait. Service. Do I have service now? Hold hold that thought. <laughs> Taking my service. I turned off the phone and turned it back on. So I'm in line. I'm the fourth one in line, and there's already people like lined up behind me. Um, we still have 29 more minutes until they get out of this thing. So and I got me. I was thinking we could watch some YouTube videos. Piper can do some of her homeschooling stuff on here. Um, not homeschooling stuff. She has like an app, that, uh, like a learning app on my phone. I was like, oh, we can do some of that. Um, cause I like her to do 15 minutes a day. Yeah, but did I only say take one out, right? So put that one back on. Okay. Thank you. So anyways, I think it might be working now. So let me go so we can entertain ourselves for a few minutes. <laughs> Hi guys. I am... Um, um, I'm, okay, we're driving the car to go get Jean and Jackson picked up from school, and I'm, okay, and I was going, and I was going to do, um, and I was going to do makeup in the car, but I guess, but I need not my mirror, so I guess I'm going to have, to turn you guys off. Bye. Ah, that tickles, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today I'm doing a make it makeup challenge with you guys and I'm and I'm driving in the car right now to go pick up to to go oh oh uh. um excuse me ma'am I don't think we told everybody what happened to your eye okay I found down the stairs you fell down the stairs. Uh-huh. And um, how'd you do that? You tripped. You tripped? Uh, yep. Okay, and guys, um today I'm doing a makeup couch with my Mickey Mouse bracelet and my lipstick. Okay. It's it might be so tiny. Yeah. You guys, I never filmed it with these two being so tiny. Let me, whoa, where is that, let me get it, uh, oops, the lipstick, mom, the lipstick dropped in, now I can't get it, can't let me get lipstick, right now I'm doing my lipstick, let me get that, let me get my hair, I'm going to have to sit, um, my knees, and I don't know if they can see my face. Then do you want to put it back up here? Yeah, but... It's okay. Okay. Now I can pretend the mirror is the camera. It's been a really long time. Are they here? Oh, they're not. Hey, they are. Where are they? Guys, look at my makeup. Guys, look 
look at my makeup. What arm do you want it? This one. Don't let them see you. Oh. In the video. Okay, let me get them off. Look how pretty this outside is. See? Bye. Peace. Jane! No, I need help. I need help? Yeah, I don't know. I know, I don't know where he is. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. How'd it go? I know, I know. This is tough. Yay, Jackson! Michael Jackson. Oh, maybe. All right, come on in, guys. We gotta go. Jane, I need you to put Piper's belt on. Jackson, shut the door. Oh, we missed you. I got so worried about him. All right. All right, Jane, shut the door. People are waiting for us to leave. Ja untie Jackson's mask so he can get that thing off. I want a donut. All right, so we are back home. I'm trying not to squint out here and it's not even really that sunny, but whew. Um, the kids are out here playing in the backyard and Jackson had the best day today, so did Jane, but I'm just so proud of Jackson because he's really been struggling with um, virtual learning. If you guys didn't see our day in the life video, um, he's not loving the virtual learning thing, but he said that his day was magical today. Jane, I never charged that. Um, but he said his day was magical and I was like, oh my gosh, does he even know what that means? I don't know, but that was so sweet. Um, he of course left his water at school, which I think is kind of funny because I feel like the kids are always leaving stuff at school. Of course, he'd leave something on the very first day of actually going in. But um, thankfully, they actually don't have any more school work to do um, for the rest of the day. So they were done at 1030. Um, they do have to do like self-paced learning on tomorrow and the next day while they're still doing testing and then they have to go back into the school on Thursday. But my heart is just so happy that they got to go in. Of course, I was nervous and worried about the masks and all of that, but I think they did great. But what I wanted to talk about today was kind of related to this a little bit and um, something that's been on my mind for a few weeks now. Let me see, because August 27th, this is my um, little devotion. My mom actually got me this for Christmas last year. This is the very first time where I've actually kept up with a daily devotional and it's 365 days and I'm all up to date. I've only missed like a few days and the days that I've ever missed, I just read two in one day instead so I've read every single one and obviously this book was made before coronavirus was a thing or you know quarantining and all of this that's happened in 2020 so this has been a really good thing to have and what I do is I read hopefully you guys can hear me because it's getting a little windy um, but every morning I read whatever the de devotion is for that day and they're really short it's just like one page and then it has like a Bible verse to go along with it. So then usually I'll grab my Bible and turn to that page and I'll either read the whole chapter that's around it or just that verse again. And I kind of, I like to write in my Bible like little things next to it. So then any other time I'm flipping through my Bible, I can see where I've 
made notes and stuff like that. So that's how I do my morning devotion if you were wondering. But I did want to read you guys one of my devotions. Again, they're really short and normally I'm not on here really like doing this kind of stuff, but this really spoke to me and I think even if you're not a Christian, this is really um, eye-opening and so I wanted to talk about it. So it says, understanding life's seasons. Are you trying to do too much? Do you even know? Success lies in knowing the season of life that you are in. As long as we know what the parameters of our seasons are, we won't try to do things that are specific to other seasons. Sorry, making sure my children don't run away while I'm reading. Are our children sick? Then for today, our season is nursing our children back to health. Knowing that is our season can relieve us from the burden of caring for others that day. Maybe we're trying to focus on neglected relationships. Then this season may be one of nurturing our relationships back to health and not volunteering for an a, charity a, cheery, a charity event. Can you identify which season you're in today? Thinking, Think of the things that need to be done specific to that season. Ask God to give you strength in each season and to help you be aware of which season you're in. And then the verse is Ecclesiastes 3, 11 through 12. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know what I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live. Jane! Too far! Um, I'm trying to be all like sentimental here and then I have to <laughs> scream in the middle of this. But anyways, it just really spoke to me because I really have been I'm really anxious about the virtual learning and quarantine and what all is happening and also trying to it's like I was struggling to try to live the life that I was living before March and living this new life that we have around coronavirus and other things that have happened in 2020 and I'm trying to juggle two different lives it seemed like for a while and for instance, this is something really small, but, and I talked about this again on the day in the life video, but as far as virtual learning, I have to be sitting next to Jackson pretty much the whole day that he's on virtual learning because that's just the nature of his age and his grade. Um, which then in turn means that Piper doesn't get very much attention that I thought she would. Like if I, last year on this time, if you would have told me what I'd be doing right now, I would say, well, Jackson and Jane would be in school all day and it would just be me and Piper and I would have lots of time with just her teaching her things. She would be going to pre-K and yeah. Sorry, the pest control guy came out. Anyways, what I, I, what I think I was saying was um, how I just pictured our life a lot different and I, um, and I know I'm not, certainly not the only one who's in the same situation, but I'm um, thinking like, oh yeah, I'd be able to have lots of one-on-one -on -one time with her, but instead, I have, let me count Peach. Let me count Peach. One, one two, three, four, one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, four. No, let one person count at a time so they can concentrate. I need to do this, Piper. Okay. I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one, make sure when two, you come home three, you have six. Four, five, okay. six. All right, go play because Mommy's talking on the blog. Come on, Jane. Come on out here, please. <sighs> this is taking me forever to spit this out. Um, So instead of that, I am with Jackson most of the day. Well, from 8.30 to 2.30 most of the day. And you guys saw on the video there's a few breaks here and there. Um, but it's a lot different. And um, not only the stuff with Piper but also getting anything done as far as like my own to-do list YouTube um, anything that has to do with the house like cleaning the house and everything having to wake up super early to try to get all that stuff done in the mornings things are just different and at first I was trying to still do all the things I was trying to still get all those chores done and still pay attention to Piper and still get Jackson's things done but then um, I actually read this obviously August 27th that was before the school stuff started but just in general that's just how I fe have felt like oh I, we're quarantining but I'm also still trying to do all the things that I did before and it just wasn't working it just wasn't feasible and it wasn't happening so I just wanted to share that with you guys because I do feel like 
this is just a season. This is just a season. It seems like it's lasting forever, if you ask me, but it won't last forever. And so while we're in this season, we just need to embrace it and do the best that we can. So if Jackson needs all my attention on those days and I can't help Jane at all with her virtual learning, I cannot feel bad about that. And I'm just gonna have to do that I'm the best I can and know that it's just a season. And soon they'll be back in school and soon I'll be able to pay attention to Piper all day and soon I'll be able to get all my things done during the day because I won't be sitting at a laptop or an iPad all day doing kindergarten work. And it's just a season. So whatever you're going through, it's not just the virtual learning or anything. It's not just coronavirus. Obviously this thing, like I said, was written before quarantine and all that. So whatever life, season of life you're in, I just don't want you guys to feel like you're having to juggle a million things because I've been there. So like that said, if you're trying to mend a relationship, then work on that. Focus on that. Don't try to volunteer here and there and do this and that and work on this and that as well like just try to focus on the one thing it's good to do multiple things but you guys know what i'm saying so now that i've rambled forever the um pest control guy was here that's why chris came out here and told me to get and i need to make sure i can see the kids so i'm gonna let you guys go but um chris is going hunting this afternoon with my brother i know he's super excited about that first day of hunting for the season oh and yesterday was one month since river passed away and um we actually didn't realize it was the 14th until the evening so luckily we weren't too sad all day yesterday seems like yesterday that it happened but it also seems like a long time ago that he's left us like it seems like we've had not have him for in forever and we miss him a lot so um thank you guys all for your sweet messages for our puppy um i almost said his name but um we wanted to keep his name secret until we get him not like this is like a gender slash name reveal or anything crazy like that but we do want to keep it secret until we get him and introduce you guys to him but um, team has two weeks until we get him. So we're, we've been busy like doing that and getting the kids prepared and everything. So anyways, we'll check in with you guys in just a little bit. All right guys, it is the end of the night. It is 8.50. I've already put everyone to bed. She's come reading. out. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it for the day. Thank you guys for coming along with us. I just want to remind you guys about being in a season. Just be in that season and Try your best. <laughs> okay, Jane wanted, she's dancing. Okay, end the video for me, baby. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.